Hello everyone and welcome to this Getting Started with Pipedrive video series um, of training videos brought to you by the Marks Group. So over the next 10 or so videos, um, and depending on where you start this, you know, could be in the middle of the series, but um, we're going to get through some training videos to really get you introduced to Pipedrive and um, get going with it. So this particular video is going to be geared towards administrators. Um, we're going to be talking about permission sets and visibility groups. So let's dive right in. Um, so go ahead and go to your organization's pipe drive URL um, and then sign in. And we are just going to jump right into it. So we will click on our little user icon in the upper right corner. And to get to the area we need to manage our um, permission sets and visibility groups, we're going to go to Company Settings. And then we're going to go to Manage Users, which is under the Company header here. So here you'll see we've got our list of users. Um, and then we can head over to Permission Sets and Visibility Groups. So just a little bit about permission sets and visibility groups before we dive into this. Um, so first, permission sets are set up by administrators. So um, hopefully that is the permission set that you have um, as you're watching this. But they determine what permission settings users have. So for example, um, deleting records, importing data, there's a whole big list of um, actions that can be managed using permission sets. The essential and advanced plans are provided with two permission sets, admin and regular users. Um, the other plans, so professional or enterprise have access, or really professional plans have access to three permission sets, admin, manager, and regular users, and then enterprise is uh, even more expanded with that. We can rename these, by the way, um, if manager doesn't really suit your organization, that is not a problem, or regular user even. So these two can be tweaked. So if I go over to here, we can see all of the permissions we have available to us. Um, so for, you know, this is straight out of the box, by the way, I haven't edited this at all yet. So um, regular users at this time can change the visibility of items. They can delete activities. They cannot delete deals. Um, they can export data, convert deals to leads. So normally the conversion is leads to deals, but in this case, um, this is talking about converting them back into leads. Sharing filters, bulk edit items, uh, use email tracking, um, et cetera. And you'll see some that are not enabled by default, like adding custom fields, editing custom fields, um, creating workflows, seeing security dashboard, merging people or deals or organizations. So these are, this is a nice big list of permissions that we can add to these permission sets. Um, and then managers have an even more expanded, this is out of the box, of course, remember. Um, so the manager permission set is even more expanded by default, um, restricting the ability to import items, still adding, editing, or deleting custom fields, seeing the security dashboard, or creating the insights das dashboard link. But otherwise, the permissions are pretty much fully there for managers as well. And like I said, it's really easy to rename these permission sets if they don't really suit your organization. We can just click rename, and you can rename them as needed. OK. So um, and then finally, to add users to our permission sets, you can just add them straight from here. And then we can do the same for this. Users can only be part of a single permission set at a time. Also um, an important thing to note. 
So I'm just going to change this back to, and then to change the set, once you've added them to here, you can just click the change set, drop down under this, or you can navigate back to the actual admin set and add them back like this. All right. So um, our visibility, or I'm sorry, yes, our visibility groups, that's the next thing we're going to discuss real quick. So visibility groups can be set up to manage what records people can see. So for example, do you want regular users to see only their own records? Do you want them to see all of the organization's records, um, et cetera? So essential and advanced plans of Pipedrive have access to just one visibility group. So you can define if users should have access to just their own records or records they follow um, or the entire company's records. Deals people, organizations, and products can all be managed from here. So professional and enterprise plans can have multiple visibility groups and even subgroups, which break that down even further. So let's say you were gonna call this um, marketing and then with no parent group um, or maybe IT is a bad example, um, or let's say the visibility group here could be um, executives. And then we could nestle marketing under the parent group of executives, for example, and you'll see it nested right here. All right. So it's really easy to move users from one group to another. And again, users can only be listed under a single group. Um, so if we were going to, sorry, if we were going to move users from our default group here over to executives, for example, we would just select this drop down and then select their name from the list. And if we go back to default group, we'll see that Gene is no longer here. And then we can add Gene back just by going to this drop down again and then selecting his name. So for this example of having um, executives as a parent group and then marketing as a subgroup, or we can even make this more specific. Um, executive, or we can say marketing director, the marketing directors. So here we can specify um, for deals if the visibility should be owner only. So only the owner admins and users in the parent groups can see and edit the details. Um, the owner's visibility group, so users in the same visibility group and admins and users in the parent groups. Um, owner's group and subgroups, so um, in this case it would be uh, marketing directors and all of marketing plus admins and other users in the parent groups or the entire company. And these are who can see items created by users in the uh, in the group. So setting this will also actually um, determine who can edit the records and the details in these records. So this is an important thing to think about for all of these four topics. Um, products, we usually see this pretty locked down. Um, Deals and people can be a little bit more flexible in organizations, but it's really up to you and your organization. All right. So once again, just to review quickly what we just talked about, we reviewed permission sets and visibility groups in Pipedrive. Permission sets 
once again are you know the overarching rules of who can do what um, in the professional plans we have access to three permission sets which can be renamed um, in the essential and advanced plans the permission sets are just limited to two so it would be admin user and regular user and again you can rename this adding users to the various plans is very simple we can just click this uh, search bar here and add them just by clicking their name and then you can determine what permissions are included in these permission sets by toggling these switches here and you can review all of these options and then visibility groups determine who can see items or records created by other users so in our example we created a marketing directors parent group and a marketing subgroup um, and let's tweak out these uh, these permissions so marketing directors let's say marketing directors um, can edit owners group and subgroups and then we'll get a little confirmation note that says visibility group updated um, do you also want all existing deals uh, with the visibility set to owners visibility group to be updated to these um, to this new visibility group and then you can either say okay or cancel um, we'll just leave uh, that one as is so we'll hit cancel there and that's just asking if you want to edit the existing deals um, that would apply and then so people let's just pretend um, we'll say owners group and subgroups we'll hit cancel for that as well we'll make all of these owners group and subgroups and then marketing for example um, we would just leave this at owner's visibility group if you really wanted to lock it down again you can go to owner only and this would limit it the um, editing capabilities and and really visibility capabilities to the owner administrators and any users users in parent groups as well as um, anyone who's following a specific record. And then just to add um, users to these visibility groups, we can just select them from the drop down list. All right. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, please feel free to continue on with our Getting Started with Pipedrive video series. Uh, here on YouTube, and I will see you guys next time.